Folks, I am here at Theater for the New City on First Avenue. I'm here with a, a very uh, uh, interesting, smart producer, uh, Sheila uh, Saragos. Did I say it wrong? Corregos. Corregos. I said it wrong. I always say it wrong. It doesn't matter. <laughs> she corrected me. This lovely lady here uh, has done some shows here at Theater for the New City, and I can tell you she picks these amazing plays from amazing periods, and she brings this beautiful cast together. Uh, some new faces, right? But she brings this <laughs> cast together, and they do these phenomenal plays. And the last time I saw it was uh, Songs of the Harlem River, which, mm -hmm. were, which was a phenomenal production. Uh, really, really talented, almost with no sets. I mean, really. And this lady put together a show that was really interesting and fun to watch. So that said, uh, let me introduce you to Shayla. Shayla. Hi. Say hi. Hello, hello, hello. Tell us about your hello. show. <laughs> oh, it's called Luigi and Langston. Let me see if this comes out right, but there it is. It might come out backwards, but go ahead. Yeah, it comes up. <laughs> and it's about <laughs> Luigi Pirandello and Langston Hughes. And we're doing two of their most wonderful one-act plays. Pirandello influenced I think almost every single playwright of the 20th century, including Pinter, Beckett, Ionesco, all of them. Uh, he was very surrealistic and interesting and amazing imagination. Now, these are four plays, right? Yes. Four two, plays. Two of them are new. Right. Let me say, we're doing Pirandello's one-act masterpiece, The Man with the Flower in His Mouth. And we're doing Langston Hughes' extremely rarely done Soul Gone Home. Then we're doing two new plays by female writers. Mm. One is right behind me, right making here. faces, Michelle Cannon. Can we introduce her? Yeah. Yes, come here, Michelle. <laughs> so tell us Hi. about your play. <laughs> this is wonderful. Um, so you're a playwright actor, yeah. right? Yes. Yes, okay, go ahead. Tell and us about your, your play. Let's Shayla move a little closer. Me, Shayla gave me an assignment, and uh -oh. she gave me a glossary of Harlem slang, and she said, can you develop a piece out of this? And I thought, hmm, that's an odd request, but I love challenges. Let's do it. So I wrote this one act, and it's all Harlem slang. I should actually include a, a sheet in there to, so that you can <laughs> understand the words. But it's really cute and um, takes place in Harlem and during the Harlem Renaissance. And the dialogue is all Harlem slang. By and, Zora Neale Hurston. Yes. And she was an anthropologist as well as a writer. And she wrote the glossary of Harlem slang. She collected it. Mm -hmm. oh, so. Now this is a debut. Yes. This is a debut. Premiere. Premiere. Yeah. Premiere. Very mm -hmm. good. Well, I wish you the best. What? Do you, you also act in the other plays, right? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the Langston piece, Soul Gone Home. And who do you play in that? And I play the mother. And Mommy Dearest has nothing <laughs> on me. <laughs> so, so you're going to be a really interesting, dare I say, ca scary character? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, good. I like scary characters. <laughs> and well, she's also, Michelle is also in uh, Grace Cavalieri's other new play we're doing in this program called Calico and Lenny. And um, in Michelle's play, there are two zoot suiters. Oh, I love zoot suits. <laughs> and they're here today, actually. One, well, let's, let's introduce them one, one, one at a time. Uh, come here, Kelly. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, was, <laughs> Kelly was in Songs of a Harlem River. I What's was. your character? So, um, in Harlem slang, I play Jelly, a zoot suitor, um, one of two who's just poor and hungry and just has to, you know, but well seduced, dressed, but well dressed <laughs> always, but has to just seduce women to get them to buy him a meal. <laughs> um, and then I do, I'm the son in Soul Gone Home with Michelle, Wonderful. Um, the dead son. Shayla loves to cast me as these dead characters. <laughs> That's um, true. I, I remember know, something that. something sickly looking about that. me. I don't know. But, yeah. And it's just Harlem slang. It's great. It's just a bunch of trash talk with my man back here, Julian. Well, yeah, let's bring Julian, Julian in here. Hey, let's Julian. make room for Julian. Okay. Okay, let's let oh, Julian stall. There we go. <laughs> Tell um, us, Julian, who do you play? I play Sweetback. He's okay. also a zoot suitor. Um, he's actually pretty better looking than uh, <laughs> that one over there. But, uh, <laughs> go ahead. I'm waiting. Um, go on. And and is he more, uh, you know, better of a seducer for the? Way? Oh, definitely better. <laughs> definitely better. Um, more classy. Um, he Ouch. really knows what he's doing Ouch. compared to. Um, 
Ooh. You can you can see him standing behind you in shock. Oh yeah, right? he's pretty confused. <laughs> you guys, you guys come to the show, you'll see it. We'll see it. Who's next? Let's see. Let's wait. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. <laughs> That's no, not right. Victoria. Victoria? Huh? Yes, I'm What's Victoria Wallace. What's your last name? Tell us, Victoria. Victoria Who do you play? And the I girl? play I play the girl who gets seduced. <laughs> No, no, well, I don't, no, no, I don't want to give it away. No, okay, that's fine. I play the girl that they at least try to seduce. And then I play a young gal in Links and Hughes, Young Gals Blues. So I love I'm nameless. It. Well, congratulations. Production. Which one is your favorite role? Oh my God. Uh. Uh, I mean, they're both so different. Spoken like a true actor in love of <laughs> their are. art. They are, it's true. I can't love choose one of the other. That's not one right. The other. Let's introduce the rest of the cast. Who else do we have here? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, come here. Come In Songs of a Harlem River, this gentleman uh, delivered uh, with other cast members beautiful poems, and you, you played a lot of fun characters. Mm -hmm. Who do you play in this production here? Well, I play the man in the uh, play by Pirandello, the man with the flower in his mouth. Ah, okay. Uh, there's two characters. There's the man and there's the commuter. Very good. And do you have a favorite? Do I have a favorite what? A uh, character. From the, from the Pirandello? Two yeah. Well, the Pirandello's one play. No, from the whole play. From the, from whole, from the whole production. production. From the whole production. Yeah. Well, in the production, I'm doing the, the play Pirandello, and then I'm doing... Uh, poetry and the Langston Hughes. Lovely. Music. You have to come see the poetry. Oh, that's so right. Beautiful. I just got the Marshall. Oh, you just got cast. There you go. So for me, the best one is the man in Pirandello. Now, we also have some backstage people who are instrumental. Did we get all the actors? Come here, young fella. I get the feeling we're missing someone else, but we'll figure it out. We're missing an actor. Who, who is this young man here and what is he doing? Um, I am Marsh Shugart. I am the props designer as well as the assistant stage manager. See, you got to pay respect to the people backstage and in the wings. And saying that, I have someone, oh, behind the camera who's holding the camera because I forgot my tripod. So, I'm going to grab the camera. Here we go. <laughs> and her name is Emma, like my daughter Emma. Come over here, Emma. And Emma, this lovely lady here, is the uh, stage manager. I am. Right? Yeah. And, and you keeping these guys in line? Oh, I try. Definitely. Uh, they have to be on I time. I do my best. And they have to be on time? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day. And they have to know their lines? Every day. There you go, Phil. Emma, folks, thank you. Shella, come over here, please. Oh. Okay, when does the show open? It opens February the 2nd, Thursday night at 8 o'clock. And how can you get tickets? You can get them on SmartTix, is that Smart right? Ticks. As well as Cole Theater. The box office or reserve your seats and pick them up at the box office. Hey folks, you want people to come see the show? Yeah. Yeah. Tell them! It's going to be awesome and our loving and educated. Well, so Nothing like it. Folks, follow localtheaterny.com on Facebook. Make sure to go to the TNC Theater website so that you can get more information. Yeah. Don't forget to go to Smart Ticks and get the tickets, and we'll be talking soon. See you soon. Good luck, folks. Bye. Break a leg.